For VOA Learning English, this is Everyday Grammar. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, goes the Dr. Seuss children's story. Why isn't it two fishes? You may think, Okay, it's hard to count fish, so we group them all together. No problem. It's easy to understand that farmers would not worry about making plurals when they talk about sheep. After all, they are almost always in a group. When you have one sheep, you can also call it a ram or a ewe and make those nouns plural by adding an s, rams and ewes. Let's look at some other things we can make plural. You've got a left foot and a right foot. Put them together and what have you got? Two feet. That doesn't follow the add an S rule either. Same with mouse and its plural, mice. What happened to our neat rule for making words plural? The answer is in our history. English came from German roots. German grammar changes the vowel sound in the middle of the word to show it is plural. The plural form of the German word for goose, ganz, is gins. The vowel with two dots over it is called an umlaut. So goose becomes geese in English. There are other plurals where the vowel changes like in the German pattern. Man, men, and woman, women are examples of different vowel sounds in plural words. Sometimes a consonant changes, as with words that end in an F sound, such as leaf. The voiceless sound F takes on a voiced quality, or V, and an S sound is added to the word. We have autumn leaves and sharp knives. Another way to make plurals in English is to add the suffix en or n. We see this in the words brother, brethren, child, children, and ox, oxen. These are words that come from Old English. With words that come from foreign languages, there are some patterns that may help you remember the plural. Many technical words in English came from Latin. Let's look at the plural of some words from Latin. Words that end in U.S. drop that ending and add I to become plural, as in fungus, fungi, and cactus, cacti. Listen to this conversation. What is that orange thing in the tree? It's a fungus. There are a lot of different fungi in the forest. For words that end in U-M, the ending changes to A, as in the words datum, data, and medium, media. These two words are more common in their plural forms than the singular forms in our digital life. Listen to how the words medium and media appear in this conversation. I heard you got a job at the New York Times. Yeah, I'm glad to be working in mass media. But newspapers are a dying medium, aren't they? Hey, I hope not. I'm writing a blog for them. When a word from Latin ends in ex or ix, the plural ending is ices. This results in index, indices, and matrix, matrices. Here's another conversation. The financial news is bad. The Dow Jones index is down. Don't worry. There are other indices, like employment, going up. Are you ready to try making plurals with some English words? Use the Germanic pattern for these words. Tooth. Is your answer teeth? Wolf. 
Is your answer wolves? Use the Latin pattern for these words. Memorandum. Your answer should be memoranda. Focus. Your answer should be foci. There are many more irregular plural forms in English. We'll look at those in another episode of Everyday Grammar. 